When I was younger, my parents never took me to see movies. They thought that it was too expensive and that it would definitely rot my brain somehow. So I believe I first experienced the power of film on a crowded subway. I was seven or eight, and my dad was taking me to work with him. He had just gotten the new iPod and a pair of sound isolating headphones. So I put the headphones on. For a few moments, I watched the train in complete silence. But then the music came in, and the world around me was transformed. The people and conversations had turned into stories. I turned my head, and I framed these nice little moments, scenes, families laughing together, a teenager bobbing their heads to music, an infant wondrously watching everything around him. It was almost as if the emotions that these people felt had become tangible. Not only could I see them, but it was almost as if I felt them as well. Now, some people would say that this is demonstrative of the power of music. But it wasn't just music. It was a combination of sound and image, characters, people. That's what made it so immersive and disarmingly emotive. So when I finally got to go to the movies, I knew that what I experienced on that subway ride was the power of film. I became obsessed with movies. I, I raided the local library for DVDs. I forced my parents to take me to the movies as often as possible. In all of the films that I loved, there was this undeniably potent feeling that I was left with. That feeling that you get when sound and image are perfectly in harmony. When dialogue is so simple yet so authentic and moving. When the impossible and breathtaking is right in front of you. That was the feeling that I wanted to capture and express, a kind of magic that I wanted to make other people feel. Over the last few years, I've been trying to express this feeling by making a few short films with my friends. Take a look. In most of the stories that I tell, there is a common trend. In Amos, my largest and most ambitious short film, a teenage boy's loneliness turns into speciation, a process that gives him superpowers and eventually turns him into a species separate from the human race. In Time Travel 555, my most recent short film, Otis, my protagonist, travels back in time to stop his friend from killing himself. In Are You Ready, a play that I wrote that was produced here at my school, George, my protagonist, lives in a futuristic society where there's a company that will clone you if you want to commit suicide. This clone then uh, receives your memories and your personality and replaces you in your life. All right, so one trend is that most of these stories are pretty dark and heavy. 
But I think a greater connecting factor is that although Lee's stories are emotional and intimate, they have been expressed through the possibilities of science fiction. I've always been drawn to science fiction because of the freedom it provides for a film to enter the surreal and the unreal, but also for its exceptional ability to present truth. When a film is in the world of science fiction, you are allowed to produce images and scenes that are restricted only by the limits of your imagination. Science fiction inherently produces that magic that you experience when you first see a film. But my films are not sci-fi epics. In Amos, it might feature telekinesis and superpowers, but in the end, it's about loneliness and that disconnect that you can feel during adolescence. Time Travel 555 might have time travel, but it's really a story about grief and the pain and suffering that you can keep hidden from even those closest to you. Are You Ready has clones, but it's a story about depression and the fragile relationship between a mother and a son. When I was eight, I wanted to make films to instill magic and wonder, and I still want to do that. But now I make films so that I can express some feeling, some pain that's personal. That's why sci-fi and film are the greatest tools for me. They allow for me to let my imagination run wild and create something that I truly believe is beautiful but also for me to express what I want to, what I need to express. Although my films are personal, my ultimate goal is still to connect with other people. You go to the movies to be entertained, to be distracted. But every once in a while, you see a film that really, truly, deeply moves you. A film that perfectly captures how you've been feeling that day or how you've been feeling that year, or how you've been feeling your entire life. A film that understands you. Those are the kind of films that I want to make. But yet Hollywood stories are so limited in their, in their diversity. How can you connect with a film when you don't see anyone that looks like you in it? How can you connect with a story when your experience is so far removed from it? As a young Asian American filmmaker, I have recently realized that I have yet to cast an Asian American in any of my narrative films. Although many of these characters are based off of myself, the actors that play them are not Asian. I didn't believe that race was essential to my story. But then I remembered when I was younger and I was watching movies and TV shows, and I was struggling to find anyone that looked like me in them. And I remember this feeling of almost loneliness, this feeling that my identity, my existence was not worthy of a story. I understand that if I am to honestly express my experience, if I am to empower and make young Asian Americans feel understood and worthy, race is and always will be essential to the stories that I tell. Luckily, I have, plenty I have plenty of time to grow as a filmmaker and to empower and cast Asian Americans. But yet, there are so many other stories that Hollywood marginalizes. LGBTQ characters are stereotyped or non-existent. Muslim characters are villainized. Women are unnecessarily sexualized and one-dimensional. I want to be a filmmaker that can respectfully and honestly tell these stories as well as my own to capture the magic and wonder of cinema, but to also provide authenticity and diversity in my characters. I hope Hollywood will do the same. Thank you.